All right, but how about the ladies at Warwick? They have a lot to prove after an extremely young team showed last year that they can make some noise in Section 1. As News 11 Sports' Chad Landers explains, the Warriors definitely have some things to work on before becoming a title contender, but there's a lot of hope that that success is on the horizon. And come right back to the ball. The majority of kids are sophomores, so that young freshman team last year, all those freshmen have had a lot of... Uh, a learning curve and I feel like we're coming in a little bigger, a little stronger, which is great. I think we'll be better this year than last year. Since we were a young team, we made a lot of mistakes and we're trying to fix those and grow as a team and everyone's just getting older. It was a nice surprise. Young, talented players everywhere you looked for Warwick, but it didn't translate into victories. The Warriors winning just six games last year. With most of the team returning in 2014, though, Warwick hoping to take the next step and be right in that Section 1 race where they'll have to rely on their strong points. We have speed, we have a lot of soccer girls, so they're so fast. Um, then we don't have height, but um, we're trying to be as big as we can. We're um, used to working together because most of us are returning players from last year, so that's nice. Um, we're working on being big in the post, obviously, because we have a height disadvantage, but um, we're definitely working on outside shooting too, so I think that will be one of our strengths this year. Everybody, we've got to be careful with our passes. They'll need all the positives they can get out of this team because Section 1 can be a sizable challenge with solid teams throughout the schedule. Every year we face the powerhouses like Hemfield and um, Township and McCaskey will be good this year. But we're a sleeper team, so hopefully we'll just come up out of nowhere and beat people. <laughs> We definitely have to play big against the post because everyone knows that like Manheim Township and Hempfield and McCaskey, they all have big girls and so we have to try to play as big as possible but our outside game hopefully will help us. There's just a lot of height, usually everywhere we go there's height and we don't have it but like I said before we're going to try as hard as we can but um, we're definitely going to be better than last year. Let's go, bring it in everybody, bring it in. Sounds like the Warriors are ready to go, and it's a good thing because Warwick opens up the season on Friday against Elizabethtown at their tip-off tournament. Reporting from Lidditch, Chad Landers, News 11 Sports.